This is my current setup. This is the one that I had before that. And then this is the one that I had before that. Look at that. That's a long while ago. Look at this, bro. This is a three-part series. Choosing PC parts, building the monster, and a workspace tour. Or, yeah, dude, let's go. Oh my god, Loco, button your shirt. What the fuck, man? Loco from the past is not messing around. I got two hard drives. <laughs> Of it, I was actually uh, got three. Oh no, dude! Yes, screwing the cringe in there again. And cringe, cringe. I'm gonna do a little bit of. Uh, That's the way to get viewers. Ended up really working right here. And then the setup tour. There you go. The real minimalistic people might uh, really, really well to get. Uh, end up being no, dude. I I actually have a hard time watching my old videos. I can't. I I just no. Yeah, I have, my Dutch accent is way thicker in those videos. Loco, don't worry, the stream is still pretty cringe. Thanks. Maybe I'll look back at my current content and be, you know, pretty cringed out about it as well at some point in the future, but... It's okay. Dude, I love the music in this game, it's so sick. See, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cringe. Using oxygen as propellant. Uh, that's not. That's not good. That's not not great. Um, I don't think I can boost to the other side. I can't make this with my oxygen as propellant. Although we could maybe take the boat a little further. It's so strange that your accent changes, considering you can't hear chat. I am not entirely sure why the accent changes. I'm not exactly sure. But maybe one... I don't know. Like, I watch a lot of English content. But I watch English content from all kinds of countries, right? It's not like... It, it's... I don't know. Oh god, I can't make it up there. My boost is not strong enough. It's also people correcting me. And also me listening back to my old, like to my own videos. I hear my myself speak in English all day. So maybe it's, uh, I don't know. I spend more time with Murica viewers. Yeah. I hear Brian, guys. Brian is the one who's teaching me how to speak English. Listen to this. You, ooh. RR, you, that's like a native English speaker, right? WWWWLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
Did I do it at the perfect time? I think I may have. You are underscore crab underscore seven hundred and seventy seven oh million seven hundred and seventy seven octillion seven hundred and crab why does he say that like that i don't get it crab what is what is it even what is the word crab i don't even know what it is urban dictionary of the word crab a spammed word with no definition what a spammed word with no definition. A word with no meaning. <laughs> all right, thanks. I'm glad that that is a thing. I'm, 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 yeah, all right, sure. Thank you, Urban Dictionary, for defining what a word doesn't mean. I, what, what, I don't know. It's confusing. Thank you for the 300 bits, by the way. Alright, more things. More bits and pieces. The burnt slight reel, or reel rather. A slight reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Several slights have been burnt and cannot be viewed. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilled houses. There's more to explore here. A slight reel from the river Lowlands showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. Okay, yeah, that's what we saw, I guess. So it had to be played in reverse, I guess? I don't know. And there's a cliffside building. I saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into one of the Kenyan walls. But the bridge that used to lead to it has rotten away. Hmm... Hmm. What's up, Arasku? What have you missed? Everything. But hey, that's what you get for not being here right at the beginning of the live stream. Donation no, I'm just kidding. Loco, could you please explain Mario Erotica to me? Uh, I can't, dude. I don't understand Mario Erotica either. It's something about Mario and Peach and Bowser's Castle. And I, I'm, the word moist is used a lot, but yeah. Bow, bow, bow. I wonder if there's another entrance here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Canada dry ale? That, or really? Canada dry ginger ale is part of Mario Erotica? As you can see, I'm not a Mario Erotica connoisseur, such as some people in the chat. He's a plumber. He is a plumber, yeah. Um. <laughs> Come on. Can I go that way? Can I actually just go to the other side? It's okay, Rizzy. I don't get it either, man. It's the latest text-to-speech meta on Twitch. Where, uh... It's not technically against the rules, but there's a lot of... Very obvious references to some things that may or may not be ever so slightly sexual. Just, just a, just a, a small bit. Yeah, just tune into Artosis' stream for about five minutes. You'll, you'll get a little bit of it at least. Okay, so what's this then?
I rotated something. Okay, hold up. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. Fuck me. I didn't want to go there. I wanted to see what was in the other room. I'm not sure what I expected to be. I, I don't want to hear it. Because <laughs> I already had that same thing happen before. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to say it was my smartest move either. Okay. If I follow it straight up right now, is it immediately gonna break, actually? Because I don't really understand why the, the dam breaks, but... Now it's not. We have some new music. There's the dam right upstairs. It's really far away. Uh, the game didn't get an update. I'm playing the DLC, Arisku. I've never played the DLC before. And so far, it is fantastic. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the river. I don't know where this leads. I mean, this is where we were last time. Yeah, yeah, DLC has been out for a while. I think it came out in 2021. Maybe 2020, I don't really know. So this is where all of them end. Can it grab me if I go underneath that? Does it grab me up? Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, so now we get to walk all the dam. Oh, damn, that's pretty cool. Sorry. No, no, no. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, jeez. Chat, this is not what... <laughs> that's not what I wanted! All right, well, anyways, now this is my life. Maybe this is what I wanted. Uh, where did we start? Because I probably have done a full loop. Wouldn't be surprised if I've done a full loop. What? Is this... This is the same thing. Oh my god. I am so smart. Yeah, I'm back where I wanted to be. Just... Not really and entirely the way that I intended. So wait, is this the way back? Is this how we got here in the first place? Oh yeah, it is. Alright. Okay, so we start at the dam. I wanted to walk on the dam, but I guess I can't. Uh, I haven't explored anything new yet. Well, we've learned a little bit, but... No new ship log notifications at the very least. This is where the slide projector is. Mm, yep. Didn't we? J hmm. I feel like we got here in another way last times, but. <laughs> <laughs> we 
<laughs> What's going on, Prince Joffrey? I just watched the Artosis Rage highlights. I had no idea. Artosis is a very passionate StarCraft fan. New subscriber. Hey, Akuma, thank you very much. I forgot this game existed and read out a worlds on the Discord announcement. Nope. Loaded up the page and went this ain't out of worlds. Oh, it's out of wilds. Yep. That's how you know you just woke up. I uh, don't know why they decided to go with names that were so similar. So there's a game called Outer Worlds that's heavily recommended and then also a game called Outer Wilds. Those are two different games. Sadly, they are very similar names and therefore they get confused a lot. Anyways, thank you very much for the one year worth of support. That's a long time. Thank you. Welcome back. Outer Worlds was such a letdown. Outer Worlds is cool. Okay. I guess Outer Wilds is better than Outer Worlds. Okay, so this is the tentacle thing. This is, I guess, what did... I don't know. Where did it aim at? What, what are we... So this is where the people are sitting, right? Like there's this uh, this group of people that are downstairs in this area, um, and I guess it's pointed up there somehow. Oh, the dam is slowly breaking. Look at that. I don't know if it's just time based. It might just collapse after a certain amount of time, like maybe like 15 minutes or something. It breaks. Uh, scout launcher. Okay. Can't go there. Okay, so we gotta take pictures to see where we can walk with the ghost matter. Oh, no. It doesn't show up other than on, on camera. This is one of the things that we found out in the previous game. Or not the previous game, the DLC thing. Pick up the artifact. Oh shit. What the fuck? Uh, can you guys see this? Uh, there you go. It's like a, it's like a grabber thing. I don't really know what what it is. Conceal? I want to conceal. I want to focus. I want to conceal what's never real. Can I what can I grab? So wait, can I Where's Loco? He's just a voice. Is Loco even real? I don't even know if Loco's real. What I thought was never real. I wanna let go of the memes I felt so long. Am I supposed to know if I can walk somewhere now? Is that... How do I drop it? Okay, I'll pick it back up. New subscriber detected. Sartan Yoda with the tier three resub. Hell yeah, dude. Am I gonna die? Ah, bro, not cool. I was scared. Oh, actually, someone in the chat spoiled earlier that apparently ghost matter doesn't work underwater. Thanks, guy in the chat. 
I didn't want to know that, but I mean, now I can't pretend that I don't know it because I already know, because you told me. Anyhow, um, apparently we can now go around here and just do everything we want. By the way, it was me talking all this time, Chet, you know. It was me. It was, it was, <laughs> it was me, dude. Who would have thunk? What, who would have thought? Who would have think it? Welcome to my face reveal. I did a face reveal without reaching the sub goal. Yikes. Pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be as a Twitch streamer. You do face reveal at sub goal. Luckily we have object permanence, so we didn't know. Makes sense. New subscriber detected. Thank you, Thort, for gifting us up to Poom Awesome. Luckily you could always show feet. You wish. Hmm. I. Oh no, this is where we started. This is that little house that we got to at the beginning. Oh my god, I've gotten back, or I've gone back to the beginning of the game twice now. It's really quite impressive. Impressively bad, I mean. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this artifact, by the way, but I found it. Oh, okay. Yikes. <sighs> maybe you're supposed to wait until the floods to search the... Yeah, maybe. Loco, I'm sure the artifact has a use that requires a spoiler for you to know. Wait, you're saying the artifact item isn't just there for the hell of it? You think it actually has a use? That's crazy, dude. I can't imagine that. Ba 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 da da ba ba. Okay, put on the suit. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. There's more to explore here, okay. A side, slight reel from the river lowland showed a strange vault being closed and s Okay, I think what I'm gonna try and do this time is try and get on top of the... ...dam. I think that would be damn nice. New subscriber Dude, Thort is just gifting a sub to everyone. Thort actually has an allergy for not subscribed people. You just, you know... If you don't have a diamond in front of your name and you're not a subscriber, Thor just... He thinks it's gross. I have no other way to put it. People that can't use Lenny emojis? Ugh. I'm with him. Yeah, yeah. But I might be slightly biased. He's expressing his disgust with money. Wait, subbing calls money? New huh? Subscriber detected. Yo, thank you, Aaron. Ooh, that was smooth. You see that? I just slid in there. Don't chat. No. No, no. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. 
I want to try and get on top of the pier, so we have to make a full loop. Right, so as soon as I go into the white lights... It, uh... Right, as soon as I go into the light, uh, the lights, it picks me up on the raft. But I don't want to be picked up right now. The Aaron subscription is paid with real American dollars, though, tagged. Have you considered that? Is there a better currency? No, I tried going up the left bank, but I couldn't reach the jump. Or maybe I missed, I don't know. Dude, I love the music in this. It's so nice. It's not really that, like, complex, but it's still really nice. I wonder if I can make that jump. I, I, I think I might be able to, but it might be too far. I don't know. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. <coughs> Sorry. The river song is pretty good. Yeah. Should I go check out the houses over here real quick? No, no, no. Let's let's try and go at, on top of the dam. I think I might be able to walk back there. Although I probably should check out these houses. Alright, we gotta go to the white light over here. It's gonna pick me up and then hopefully not drop me off on the other side again. But it might just drop me off again on the other side. I don't know. I gotta try and like boost off before it drops me on the other end. I think that should be doable. Okay. Well. Well, damn. We did it. I'll be damned. Didn't think that was gonna work, did you? No, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, yes, I did, Robert. If you go to loco.tv slash outer wilds, it should link you straight to the playlist. I should probably have commands for every single one of those playthroughs. Like exclamation point outer New whilst in the chat, linking straight there would be nice. Clunt! Four years. That was a long time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh. This is the strength of the beam? And it seems like there's four layers or levels that we can go. That's the star that we're orbiting around, I believe. And this is, I guess, the... I don't know, the ring world we're currently on. The halo, the thing, whatever. So if the beam is powerful, we might be able to go multiple layers down. Mm, that's pretty hot. I don't really know what to expect from this. But it's written in my ship's log. So... Let food on yellow? Yeah, exactly. We need to, you know... It's okay. Yeah, I have a second YouTube channel where I post p completed games that I've streamed on Twitch, uh, Robert. So, basically, uh, youtube.com slash loco is where every game that, you know, I've completed... Uh, it goes up over there. Every game that I've completed other than getting over it. But I, I preface that at the very beginning of the getting over it playthrough that I do not complete that game. Because, you know, it's getting over it. If you're unfamiliar with getting over it, just watch for about three seconds.
So does it go up now? So this goes down? Okay, no, I think I can only go up if I'm actually already down. <sighs> What's going on, John Radiv? Loco, I've been watching you for a while and this is the first time I've found your stream. Yo, welcome, dude. Thank you. Hope I won't be a complete disappointment. Oh shit! We just found a shortcut! I'm already not seeing it anymore. Oh, there it is. Ooh, clever video game. The clunt is coning. Ah, is that soda? I don't know. Wait, you guys still don't speak Dutch. Okay, never mind, never mind. Guys, I've been streaming for like 12... Okay, not 12 years. I've been streaming for like 10 years. You guys still don't speak Dutch. What's up with that? I've taught you at least a dozen words over the years. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, let's go check out those houses right there on the left. I don't know how the dam is doing, but... Gouda, that's all I got. Strope waffle, there you go. Loco, you've m eaten meatballs plenty of times and you still do not speak Swedish? Ah! Jokelska Rikea! Sverige! Jokharen Kuk! Bro, I speak perfect Swedish. What do you mean? Yeah, that was pretty much flawless, dude. Isn't that literally all I need to ever live in Sweden? I know how to say I love Ikea and I have a penis. So like, I feel like those... I feel like that will get you, uh, you know, far. What's this then? Are we making a Death Star? Is that what we're doing right now? Dude, I have a Void Ray. Oh my god. I can prismatically align a Void Ray. Bzzz, everything dies. We still haven't uh, deciphered the hieroglyphs yet. It's, it's kind of sucks. I have an Ikea, I love penis. No, I don't think... Well, I mean, that would get you quite far too. Maybe not necessarily the direction you want to go to, but... Or maybe you do, I don't know. Another projector. Hieroglyphs? Hieroglyphs? What is the point? I went to Ikea the other day, guys. I think I mentioned this on stream already. My life is not very eventful. But I went to Ikea the other day. Just to get the food. I didn't just get food. That's how they get you, bro. You go in there just for the food and suddenly you got yourself two scented candles. I don't know, like one of those uh, wool socket things. You've got like uh, a bunch of batteries. I have cats, so I've got a couple of these things. 
right? A bunch of these things you roll over your clothes to get all of the, yeah. I did go in there just to buy food and I left with like 20 euro worth of stuff I didn't really need. But it's useful. <laughs> That's how they get you, man. Those Swedish people. Ah. Didn't think you need any of it. The ultimate sellout. IKEA is not even cheap in many things, man. Like. Maybe they've like gotten more expensive over the years or something, but they had like a bunch of like dining room tables that were going for, or dining room tables, dining room chairs, right? Like chairs you put around like, and, and those, those were going for like 160 each. I mean, they have cheaper ones too, but I was like, oh God, that's, you know, if you need like six of them, that's like a thousand bucks. They have to even put them together too. The quality is high AF. Maybe it will be. We have a lot of furniture from Ikea. Yeah. But they, uh, they've definitely got some more expensive stuff these days as well. I don't understand what we're, gonna, what we're doing here, guys. Okay. Oh, shit. So the water is... Yeah, okay. It'll arrive here at last. I don't know how gravity works either. How does gravity work? Is gravity magic? It could be. Do they have gravity at Hogwarts? Okay, water is coming. The thicker the mass, the greater the attraction. Hashtag relatable. Question mark. Loco, I have a PhD in physics. Yes, there is gravity at Hogwarts. Okay. So I don't know what this is. Clearly it's to do with this. Right over, I don't know. I, I think I can probably align it, right? That's what I'm feeling anyways, that I can like align this with but I don't know what these planets even are, though. I thought maybe they would represent the different planets in the solar system we're in. Okay, so that's clearly the star. Or is that the star? Nah, that's, that's, that's the star. Why is there also five layers to it, though? What do the layers indicate? New strat, guys. Trial and error. There's uh, five different options. Five times four, five times three, times two, times one. I mean, we can get this. Oh, no. Never mind. There's actually more than... Uh, it's more complex than that. Doesn't matter. Math. The TLDR is there's a lot of options. How many planets are there in the system? Like seven? I don't know exactly. It depends on how you count, because some of them are attached together. <sighs> yeah, it's 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 a couple possibilities. We might accidentally stumble upon it though. The magic in Lord of the Rings is just elven technology that's so advanced that it seems like magic to everyone else. Ooh, I like that concept. Is that how it actually works? What's over here? 
So this just leads back? It does. He wrote this in the letters that were later released. You do realize that uh, the Lord of the Rings is a work of fiction. I'm just no, no, I'm no. Never mind, never mind. New subscriber. Hey, thank you, Thor. For gifting a sub to I am D five Day Blue. It's a lot of words. Is there anything over here that we need to discover? Okay, we're just about to die, but the star is just about to explode anyways. Fuel level critical. Okay, yeah, this is once again just the starting point. Is it possible that these would show a different kind of image? I don't know. I got so many sweets and chocolate by my mom for Easter, I literally had to throw away a full bucket of Haribo stuff because I can't stop myself from eating it. Bro, I'm in the same play! I'm in the same position! Mr. Argyle sent me very generously a lot of Icelandic snacks. And he said, Loco, can I send you some snacks? I was like, cool. But he sent me like six kilograms of it. And I have no self-discipline when it comes to like, food? And it's, now that you bring it up, it's right here in the drawer, right next to me. I gave, uh, I gave a bunch of it yesterday to Laurent's parents, because it's too much for me, man. Like, I'm just gonna eat. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I, hmm. I'm not gonna eat anymore today, because I've already eaten too much. No more chocolate on stream today, guys. Yeah, accidentally it's turned into bulking season, unintentionally. It's all very delicious, that's the problem. I'm cultivating mass. We need a low thick emote? No, it's okay. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at, but uh subscriber detected. Yeah. Why did the lights go out? The lights went out when the water came. I don't understand how that has anything to do with anything. Hey thank you thought for gifting us up to Ryan alone. Okay. Does this make any sense yet? I don't think so. Luckily, you look a little puffy now that you mention it. I'm like uh, 79 kilos right now, Chet. I'm, uh, super thick. Chocolate is made from the New cocoa bean, therefore it's the vegetable. Ooh, are you saying chocolate is a salad? Because that's what I'm hearing. 79 kilos, how much is that in freedom units? Nobody knows, dude. Depends on the size of the washing machine, but I would guess probably about eight washing machines. It depends. Like, I don't know how much a washing machine weighs either, but give or take about eight washing machines if I were to, you know. I hope that helps. Uh, we're dead. I can't do anything anymore. We've learned a lot, though. We've learned a lot. The death song... Notice that he measures using washing machines and not dryers because he doesn't use the dryer like a sane person. We do use the dryer, man! What is this blasphemy all of a sudden? We just use the dryer for, you know, things that make sense for a dryer. Like, you know, towels, bed shit, right? Not clothes, though. I thought you used the dishwasher loco. No, I misspoke that one time. <laughs> 
Outside of Loco's office is always shirt hanging. Yeah, we do hang dry our clothes, Jet. <clears throat> this is still one of the most fascinating differences we've ever found out on stream between people from the US and the rest of the world. Apparently most places outside of the US hang dry their clothes and only use the dryer for things like towels and bed linen and all that. But apparently in the US people also use the dryer for their clothes. This is, isn't that fascinating? I think that's pretty fascinating. I mean, obviously there's going to be exceptions to uh, that rule, but it seems to be a rule. How long does it take to dry? How long does it take to dry? If you hang dry a shirt, you just hang it up and then it's dry the next day. Or like, I don't know, whenever you come back to do your, you know, laundry. <laughs> I have accidentally used a dryer for clothes before, but they always shrink. How do you guys deal with shrinking clothes in the US? How does this work? Well, it depends on the climate, right? I've been drying my clothes in the dryer for 10 years now, never a single problem. You buy a larger size? Wait, you purposely buy shirts and stuff a size larger because they're going to shrink in the dryer? I have bought things that are pre-shrunk, but they always still shrink. Maybe I've been ripped off. Sometimes it depends on what it's made of. I'm glad we're we're getting into the details. <laughs> Everyone I know in the Netherlands though has always hung dried their clothes. I don't I, I don't really know. Like I've just like basically what we all do, right, is we just copy our parents, I guess, or like people that we know. So like I just kinda copied my parents and like that that's I don't know. I, I don't know, Chet. A sight, uh, or a slight reel from the river Lowland showed a strange vault being closed on- yes? That's true, actually. I guess, I guess, uh, it's tighter fits mostly in Europe. Hmm. I use dryer and never- or dryers and never shrunk anything. Alright. Just use low heat loco. Have you ever tossed a shirt in the dryer with a damp towel to get the wrinkles out? Is this some sort of shit? Oh my god, that's a sick life hack. Your dryer has a cold air setting? Maybe mine does too. We got a pretty nice dryer. <laughs> you know what I found out when I first moved in here? We had to buy like a, a washer and a dryer, right? In my mind, a washer is an infinitely more complex machine. For some reason though, dryers are more expensive. How does that make any sense? I don't get it. Why, why are dryers more expensive than washers? I got so many questions, Chet. My whole life is just a huge question mark. It's pure luxury? Maybe. Dryers could start things on fire, so they have to be engineered. Well, that's a good theory. They need to have safety features. Although, to be fair, a washer can also definitely fuck your home up pretty bad. Flooding is also not ideal. No, we don't have a combination one. I know you can get a combination one too. I don't know, we got two dead- <laughs> I don't know why we got two, but we have- we have one dryer and one washer. I don't know, Chad. I don't know! <laughs> what about a dishwasher? What about a dishwasher?
This washers are pretty exciting. Uh, where's the entrance? There it is. You live for so long growing up without a dishwasher. I remember when I was little, my sisters always had to do the drying. But when I was like, I don't know, I think when I was like six or seven or eight or something, my parents got a dishwasher. And uh, I have... You know, we we used to still do it manually on like holidays and vacations and stuff, but uh, pretty much always dishwasher. Yeah. Do we use dishwashers in the Netherlands? <laughs> yes, we do. So Scott's like, do you guys have electricity in the Netherlands? <laughs> do you guys have the internet? Have you guys ever heard of the internet before? <laughs> no, we do have dishwashers for school. <laughs> Not yet, Blade. I, uh, I've been trying to get my hands on some of those replays, but, um... I don't have a microwave! No! Let's not start the whole microwave discussion again! <laughs> no! 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 Microwave fund? It's not the money, chat. No, we do use dryers. <laughs> we just don't use dryers for clothes. <laughs> I usually throw my... Uh, whenever we have leftovers, I usually just throw them in the dryer for a, <laughs> for a minute. That'll uh, heat them up real good. Actually, I wanted to make the jump. Um, there was a thing I wanted to jump to, but I don't remember. Okay, we're going to try and get to the other side. Nice. That was a good jump. <laughs> we throw spaghetti in the dryer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we do everything. I do have a toaster. I do. 